you leaving that show was one of the worst decisions in entertainment history. I I no, that's a little it. too far. You admit it? I think you're right because I lost that on how many millions of dollars? I, I'm so glad that you have accepted this. I really did. Because it's a lot of money. Oh my God. And you actually did way more. Like our boy Vinny, love the guy, he does nothing. He blew up off of just being nice. You actually had a real attitude and sass. Like from the beginning, yeah. everyone was like, who is this bitch? I live my life every day kind of in regret. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm. I actually take it for like what it is now, but I look back and I'm like, wow, I was an idiot. Now, is actually, that where some of the drinking came from? Yeah, I was. it was really bad. It was getting to the point where like I was blacking out and I was supposed to go on celebrity rehab actually with Dr. Drew and then um, MTV was like, you can't do this. We don't want you to go really? on the show. Yeah. I mean, if I don't go back on Jersey Shore, just say like, and stuff doesn't go down, I mean, a book would probably be like a good thing and then doing stuff with DMX's wife and Playboy. you never know. Play boy playboy i would save it for the end you got to wait you got to see if what everything else what happens about a porn mm. <laughs> i wanted to know if you were following <clears throat> this john travolta fiasco it's travolta yeah what's going on with that it's a mess well basically all of these massage therapists are accusing him of being gay and saying that he's been touching them in inappropriate places. I always kind of looked at him like he was gay. I didn't really. I never I knew that. No, I don't know. There was something about him. I don't know. I, I just I had a feeling, and then all of a sudden, like lately, it's just everyone's talking about it. There are down low brothers out there. Ooh, yeah, a lot of people there. are gay that we just don't know. And don't we you? Even figure didn't you guys suspect the situation? I don't know. He just has very feminine ways about himself. The way he speaks, the way his, his the way he walks, everything about him just makes me think he's gay. Does your gaydar ring off when you see the sitch? I've never met him, so I don't know. But um, I could see what you mean. He may have feminine tendencies. Definitely. I don't know. It seems like he pursues women, but he does treat them like trash. But maybe that's something, some psychological thing he has going on in his head. I don't know how his relationship with was with his mom. Who knows? I've known him for a long time, and like... I always thought, I don't know. I, I used to hook up with him, and it, it never got to sex or anything, but we used to hang out, and I've never even, I mean, the only reason why I've seen his thing is because I lived with him in the house, but other than that. What was I've, it like? Why are you going to ask that question? Wait, question I'm going to be honest with I you. I don't care. I his, don't care. Mike, the situation's penis is, like, so small. Really? <laughs> How small? Really? I'm not even I swear Pinky? on my life, so small, like pencil dick. When you hooked up, you there was never any... Feeling? Yeah. Uh, Did you feel? Over the pants, oh, but oh, not, you not. Oh my god! What kind of prude are you? I thought it, you. This you is used what I'm trying the... to say. Is he gay? Oh, so he could have done more. He didn't go for it. Because mm. as far as I could tell, Angelina on the Jersey Shore always seemed, you know, not like the prudest of people. Gee, thanks. Sorry, no disrespect. <laughs> <laughs>